Now, most recently, you have had an encounter which uh, many people since have had in, now tell us about the place, like Kipia it is. Yeah. Explain to us what is a black leopard and what was the impact of this particular encounter on you? Okay, a, a black leopard is a, a melanistic leopard. When you're, you're born in your skin, there's different levels of um, melanin and that basically dictates how dark your skin tone is, how dark an animal's fur is. And so in on um, this high plateau in central Kenya called the Laikipia Plateau, there's a, uh, a genetic mutation that occasionally pops up um, and results in um, black leopard cubs. Before recently, I think there'd only been a real handful of um, of these individuals ever recorded. And though you might not see them all the time, there are a lot of leopards in Africa. So if it was around, you would think that there'd be more. But um, in a specific location in Kenya, don't know what it is, but this gene is 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 um, running through the population. So I heard about uh, heard whisperings um, of these leopards being there. Tried for them what did I say, four or five years ago. And so it was this last year, a couple of months ago, that I, I finally um, saw one. I have to say, I was incredibly lucky, but actually it's the cub of what's called a, a camp female. So a female whose territory basically in, in circulates a couple of kilometers around um, this camp called like Kipia Wilderness. And She's used to, to humans being there because of her proximity, and so she's brought up her black cub, um, who's pretty pretty chilled with with people. She just does her thing. When you've wanted something for kind of four or five years, and you've tried a fair few times to get it, and it happens, <laughs> you, yeah, there's there's a special feeling. But um, it was after dark. We had we were spotlighting, looking, um, and there was a shadow in the spotlight which kind of didn't quite make sense to me and it and it was it was moving so no but there's, but there's nothing making the shadow and then kind of it was coming towards us and, you, and it's like actually no the the shadow is the animal that's that's the black leopard and i just yeah if i if i could have melted at that point i would have jumped over the river came right towards us we had probably 40 minutes with her just wandering around through the bush um, doing her thing, not bothered by us. Got a few really cool photos. We had that every every night for the next three nights. If it's something that that, that people want to go and do, then it's, it's a real possibility at the moment. Obviously mm -hmm. things change in the bush every day. Um, but yeah, it's just the most amazing experience. And then, yeah, I was lucky enough to get a few cool photos, so. Are you fumbling? Is, is there adrenaline rushing through you? Are you thinking, you know, I want to look at this, but I also want to record this moment. What are my settings? What have I done? A uh, hundred, a hundred percent. And which is why it was great that we had uh, three different nights. Because the first night I could just be in every photo because pretty much it was, it's just so difficult. Looking at settings, you're taking a photo of a black thing with a black bag ground but with a spotlight but it's not directly on her it's just on the ground so you're not affecting her by the third time with with seen her i was getting a couple of um of decent shots but i mean adrenaline's going i was there with with my fiance well in fact my fiance she became my fiance on on that trip and and our, our little daughter so i was kind of looking after her daughter in one hand camera sort of resting on my knee in the other one with a Black leopard there, and it was, it was all going on, but it was just magical. Actually, videoing was was a, a real help when it was too difficult to try and get a shot. Still being able to video at night um, does make things a little bit easier. Fantastic. Well, Sam, thanks so much for chatting with us. Uh, so much to see, so little time. So hopefully we'll catch up soon. But thanks very yeah. much, mate. Thanks, Simon. Mm -hmm.